This is how to get a list of all the public custom GPTs. Soon there's going to be a marketplace that you'll be able to sort through all of the new popular and most useful GPTs. But right now in the Explore tab, you can only see your custom GPTs and scrolling down all the ones made by OpenAI. So stay here. I'm going to show you how to see a list of all of them, all of the GPTs created by all of the users that have made them public. And then after that, we'll go through three or four of them to see what they are and how they work. Okay, I'm in a new incognito tab and I'm on Google and this is what we're going to search. We're going to search site colon HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash chat dot open dot com slash G. And what we're doing with this search is we're telling Google to only show us search results that have the chat GPT URL with the subdirectory of G. And let's zoom out. Let's go back to chat GPT and I'm going to scroll up. Let's click one of my custom GPTs. Let's do the recent GPT prompt fixer. If you look in the URL bar, this custom GPT is in this subdirectory of G. So obviously chat GPT or open AI in particular is organizing all the custom GPTs with a slash G. All right, I'll click another one. Let's do SEO Fox and same thing G slash and then a unique URL for this custom GPT. So with this Google search, it's going to show us all the publicly indexed custom GPTs. Now, if you make it public in the future, it's going to be in the marketplace, which is going to be indexed by Google. I'm assuming private ones are not, but this search will show us everything that's been deemed public by its users. So let's search this now. And here we go. Here is a list of all the public custom GPTs. So this one looks like it's from China. Excuse me if this isn't Chinese, but clicking into it, this looks like a custom GPT here. I'm going to make this search in a non incognito browser so we can actually chat with it with my profile. So scrolling down, let's click this one voice style tone. And this is an AI prompt snippet generator. This user, NicoleLetter.com, is saying that it analyzes writing and produces a prompt snippet you can use in any other prompt to guide AI in replicating its voice, style, and tone. Just provide the text in the prompt box via a link, in an image, or in a document. You don't need to write any additional prompt language with your training text. And I can even click on this user and this person, Nicole, has linked to their website. So this is going to be big when you have custom GPTs on the marketplace. You'll be able to link back home and hopefully get some traffic to your website for all of your hard work. All right, scrolling down, a lot of these are in a different language. It's obviously showing us just a gigantic list. None of it's organized. But if I go to the top and I click tools, I can use this drop down and let's search in the past 24 hours. So this is going to be the newest custom GPTs just released and we'll be able to see some of the things that users are creating. Let's look for English ones. Okay, this is Fit Manager Pro. I'm going to open this up and Fit Manager Pro created by AIOS.AU is an expert in sports and fitness management, aiding in activity planning and data analysis. They have some conversation starters here. How should I organize a weekly fitness routine? Can you analyze these fitness metrics? What are some tips for managing a sports team? And what nutrition plan complements high intensity? You have to click this to see the rest of it. High intensity workouts. So creating a new chat with this custom GPT. It looks like it was created for everything fitness, mostly to do with fitness management. I'm guessing personal training. If you are a personal trainer, this would be a good custom GPT to use with your clients. And it'd be cool to see if it was using, let's see the about section. No, it doesn't tell us. It'd be cool to see if it was using a custom knowledge base in the back end. If I go to the explore tab and let's click this content planner GPT and then configure, you can upload files to your knowledge base. If you want to go out of the box from just the normal chat GPT four, it'd be cool to see if those custom GPTs are using its own knowledge base because you're going to get new, unique and potentially better data in your outputs, especially if that custom GPT has been specialized. All right, let's find another one here. What is on the move? Again, these are all custom GPTs released in the past 24 hours. This one says need help choosing a new city to live in. 
input your preferences below to get tailored suggestions. So if you're a digital nomad and you wanna find a new city to work in, this would be a good custom GPT to use. Let's try one of the conversation starters here. Let's go suggest a city for a tech job with mild weather and low taxes. So this custom GPT starts you by asking you a few questions and I'll answer it for him. All right, one, my preferred climate. I like it warm. Needs to have a booming tech industry. Three, we'll go low taxes. Four, I'll say no preference. This is asking me if I have any preferences worldwide. I'll go no preferences for housing too. And six, no preferences as well. All right, let's see what it spits out. Austin, Texas. Singapore, yeah, city in India, Dublin, Ireland, Israel. Yeah, each of these cities offers a unique blend of warm climate, strong tech job markets, and tax environments conductive to business and personal finance. Okay, very cool custom GPT. Let's look at another one here. Mythic Game Craft. All right, this custom GPT crafts rich, dynamic game scenarios with expanded genres and customization. And its conversation starters is start a new RPG campaign, generate a creepy past a world, create a mystery adventure, start a random adventure. Let's start a random adventure. So the Forgotten Realms of Ashera. Yeah, it tells us the setting we start in, our character. We're a human ranger, a skilled hunter from the woodlands. What we have in inventory, we have a longbow with arrows, a silver dagger, and 10 gold coins. The current quest. You've heard rumors of a mythical creature, a griffin, sighted in the northern mountains of Ashera. Legends say it guards a treasure of immense power. Many have tried to find it, but none have returned. Your quest is to find this griffin and uncover the truth behind these tales. And then it looks like we have choices. Oh, it's also creating an image. That's pretty cool. Fortunately, there was an error loading this image, but that's pretty neat. I'm assuming it was gonna draw an image of my surroundings. Very cool feature added to this custom GPT. I wish it made the image, but I got some choices. I can head straight to the mountains. I can visit the nearby village of Eldor, or I can explore the Eshrin woodlands. I asked it to generate the image again to see what it gave me. It's good, I was able to bypass the question that it asked me just to generate the image. Yeah, this is the woodland, perfect. What's cool, it's like a first person shot. This is me holding the arrows. Very cool, helps you be immersed more in this story. You know, I like this custom GPT. Let's just do one of these first before I move on. Let's head straight to the mountains. As you trek, the train becomes more rugged and the air grows chillier. There's an encounter. I hear a deep rumbling sound and there's a vast canyon and now I have three more choices. I can attempt to cross the canyon, I can climb to a higher vantage point, or I can set up a hidden observation post. Hey, you could play this all day. And look, it's creating another image. What did it create this time? Very cool. There's the wanderer, there's the cave. I can create an outpost somewhere here. Yeah, this is a good GPT, this is well made. I'm gonna go to the about. It was by Quantum Mind AI LLC. I'll click into the site, give this person some props, custom software solutions using traditional tools and AI. So this user created some custom GPTs and here's a list of them down here and see if we can find the one that we just used, the Mystic Game Craft. No, it doesn't look like they have it yet, but good GPT. All right, again, if you want a list of all the public GPTs, you're gonna type in Google site colon https colon forward slash forward slash chat dot openai dot com slash g then you're gonna have a choice to sort by any time by the past week or month i like the past 24 hours to see all the new gpts and then there are thousands of them so this will keep you busy for a long time this is all we have until the marketplace is released on ChatGPT, but eventually they'll have its own sort options. You'll get to sort by most popular, by category. This is pretty random, but you might get some ideas for your own custom GPTs scrolling down this list. Here, this one's a movies detective. It's giving you AI insights for suggestions of what to watch. Here's a coloring book creator, an improvement of the one that OpenAI offers. If I have some time, I'll go through a bunch of these and make a list make a free list of the best ones that I found and I'll create a video about that in the future. So make sure you subscribe. If you find a cool GPT using this method, write it in the comment section below, link it down below. Let's discover some awesome use cases. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.